Hello, beautiful people around the world. Just here to make sure you have an okay life. I hope everyone is blessed, well, healthy, and that nothing but the best is going on in all you beautiful people's life. And I want to thank y'all for all the amazing emails, comments, DMs we received in the past couple of hours. I love you guys, man. And again, I'm wishing the best in all you guys' life. Truckers for Trump. Salute to all my truckers out there. I got love for you. So much love. And I'm wishing safe travels out there to anybody watching today's video especially my truckers but comment of the day goes to randy we need truckers and farmers we do not need politicians <laughs> yes indeed man it is time for the working class to take our country back but um we got a couple of videos sent in with well, actually tons let's be let's be real here i know i love being transparent and keeping it real with y'all we have tons of video you guys are sending in for me to check out, react to, and look at. So let's check this one out, you guys. From Omej News. Oh man. Truckers nationwide revoke mobilized with the Trump dismissed 355 Leo penny plus boycott. Let's see. An on transportation problems, an ongo ongoing shortage of truckers continue to slow down the supply chain and the ability of grocery sorts to replenish their shelves quickly. Let's check out this video. My bad, you guys. I'm just scrambling and rambling around. Let's check it out. This message is to all the truckers who are boycotting New York. Keep it up. Keep up the good work. Social media is spreading disinformation by putting out false statements that the boycott of the truckers is petering out when, in fact, it's growing stronger. What they do is they put false statements across all social media saying, oh, it's dying out, and they keep regurgitating. Yeah, we, we we know the we know those ones, yeah. But that's that's just the way it's gonna be. Always. Getting that to the tune of millions and millions of messages that are wrong. So, truckers, keep going. You're doing a great job. Yes indeed. God bless you. And all of you consumers who aren't truckers, would you get off your ass hmm. and would you start stop buying products that are made in New York? because the taxes on those products fund the governor and the judges and the lawmakers. Don't do that. Choke a loser state. A loser state. <laughs> a loser state, man. Sheesh. Come out. Cheers. Bros. You don't know shit about the trucking industry. I'm an independent truck driver. There are 350,000 drivers like myself. Hmm. That if we don't want to go somewhere, we don't go there. Yes, indeed. We don't have any bosses, no unions. You can't put our license like you guys keep saying you want to do. Nothing. It's not illegal to say. Yes, I got the full videos. When you take a look at what is going on on social media, but again to truckers, you might think it has ended. A lot of people are putting out propaganda articles you know just to make people to understand that nothing is happening when you take a look at this article put out by Newsweek pro Trump truckers won New York City boycott will hand their jobs to immigrants that is what I've seen at the end of this video I will read out so you can understand exactly what is going on now truckers are not backing down Oh, they yeah. made it clear, like, what you are seeing on social media, you should not believe. I will play some videos so you can see exactly man. what is going on. For the past two days, I could not put out videos about truckers. I see it important to update you on what is going on. If you are not subscribed to this channel, please endeavor to do that. I know I got to show love and support, that. man. And if possible, please share this video. Yeah, hey everybody, it's Trucker support. Mark here. I know you guys heard about the boycott against New York City, but uh, now I haul a uh, refrigerated groceries, and uh, it's a big 53-foot trailer. Yes, indeed. It's like a, a rolling refrigerator is what it is. <laughs> Y'all know I actually love watching the trucker videos, especially I have a couple of my favorite content creators on the TikTok platform and they show you, you know, how it is being a trucker, doing this and that. We've seen terrible accidents, what they go through, how they're burnt out. 
um, there's like two of the girl creators um, what, how it is being a woman trucker that I, I just love seeing the process videos they're pretty cool and what I've got here is a load of groceries a load of groceries milk meat dairy yogurt all kinds of food Guess where it's not going? <laughs> you got it. You Definitely. Got it. Not going to New York City. <laughs> so I want to encourage all my truck driving buddies out there to make your own videos about not going to New York City. Hashtag not delivering to New York. God bless America. Yes, yeah. I believe you seen this. Two days ago, Chicago Ray, who started this, was called up by Fox News Tucker Carlson. He rejected to offer an interview. I don't know why he was scared, but people are now bold enough to go up, you know, give their opinion on what is happening. And so some of them, truckers, long haul truckers specifically, are now refusing, in response to what's happened to Trump in the state of New York, to deliver goods, essential goods, to New York. And that would include groceries and fuel. Jake Logan has spent many years yeah. delivering these things, fuel specifically. He's a hazmat trucker who drives oh, all over the is. Mountain West through some of the most dangerous passes. Man, look at all the love in the, the, in the comments, States. man. He supports this boycott. He look at everybody. Look at all, all the real supporters, man. Why. Jake Logan, thanks so much. And they're not bots either. Um, I summarized. It's great to see you, Tucker. Thank it's you. It's great to see you. And I summarized <laughs> really quickly what you do for a living. But will you just explain it a little more? What's your, what's your job, just for some context? My job uh, simply is to haul and deliver uh, fuel, diesel fuel, to, uh, to small mountain towns across the West, across the Rockies. Um, just most beautiful country, the the finest people you'll ever want to meet. So that would include in the winter, having been through some of those passes, you know, 10 or 12,000 foot passes in the Mountain West. What's it like to drive a fully loaded diesel fuel truck down that, that grade? <laughs> <laughs> it can be an adventure. Um, sometimes if, it, if there's too much snow, um, they, they might close the road for us um, they, or they'll have chain restrictions. We'll have to chain it up. But you'd be surprised how quickly you can uh, get used to driving one of these big rigs, these fuel trains across oh, the yeah. Rockies. It's, uh, it's spectacular. <laughs> it sounds it. And it's also essential. It's not a job that just anyone can do. And without it, without diesel fuel, then the country grinds to a halt and people starve to death. So I just wanted to make it really clear up front that you don't work at some nonprofit in Boston or a biotech firm, uh, you're actually keeping the country alive. Absolutely not. Absolutely yeah. not. So with that in mind, like, why would you support Trump? Why would you have strong feelings about what happened to him in New York? Tell us your view. Well, I tell you what, I am proud to stand with my fellow brothers and sisters in the trucking industry. Uh, they are among President Trump's strongest supporters. And we, along with other MAGA Patriot Americans, have been watching how how the this government has been persecuting President Trump. And we are fed up with it. Americans and pr truckers primarily are standing up and saying we have had enough. Something bothers me with Newsweek. They put out an article pertaining to this issue of truckers, pro-Trump truckers calling for boycott of New York City after the former president front ruling have faced new criticism online with many now warning that their job will be replaced by immigrants if they go through with their trade. On Friday, New York City judge Otto I'm gonna rule that Trump must pay 355 million, which we all know. I believe you saw the second man where he made it clear like we don't work under any person. We are about 300,000 of us, you know, working independently. So this said, they are sending out, like if you do, we will take your jobs and give to illegal immigrants. I've noticed something with these truckers. The people that are actually boycotting this, they don't want to be on camera. Maybe these are people that work under someone or what exactly, I don't know. Sending them said like, if you don't do this, we will give your job to immigrants. It is stupid. Yes. 
Hmm. Okay, just imagine people that own their truck, they don't want to hire a person. So you cannot threaten them with issue of license. It is not illegal. They have right to take up any direction they want. So you cannot stop them. So I don't get the point why some people are saying, oh, they will remove your license. You own your property. So who is there to remove your license because you reject to go to New York? It is insane to see people that are still coming out to talk this way. Truckers should decide what is good for them. Hmm. Yes, not any kind of person should be putting out some kind of ridiculous articles on social media. It is affecting people already. Hell yeah, truckers. Don't deliver my damn thing. A damn thing. A damn thing. You hear me? Truckers, do you actually think you're irreplaceable? Like, this is capitalist America. You think that corporations are going to sit idly by while you boycott New York and affect their bottom line? <laughs> no way. <laughs> they will always find somebody else to do your job if you won't do it. Maybe even an immigrant. Legal immigration are okay. But hey, man. It's real life, man. God bless the truckers and farmers. You are the backbone of our country. Yes, indeed. And I want to and shout out to some of my amazing veterans that have been reaching out to me as well, man. Salute to my y'all know I got so much love for my vets, man. Salute to my vets. They say thank you to thank you truck truck drivers. We must stop New York corruption. Someone tells what is coming out of New York that we need not to buy. Our truckers are our heroes. I support the truckers in their boycott. I, I won't go to New York anymore. They said they're not going to New York anymore. Yeah. Shoot. You know what I'm saying? Unless y'all giving out free uh, free cars. <laughs> but hey, man. Salute to our truckers, man. Yes, indeed. Salute to our truckers and the beautiful people in this country, man. And out this country. I love y'all, man. We're wishing the best in everybody's life, man. For real. Yes, indeed. To all the work, working class, man. I love y'all. But hey, drop a like on the video. Comment down below. And I will catch you beautiful people in the next one, man. Peace and love you, man. God bless all you beautiful people around the world. And we do have a lot of... um. Videos are going to be popping up shortly um, as I've got to edit some of the uh, footage from the GoPro um, outside recordings. So y'all be tuned. Be ready for that, man. But hey, I love y'all. Peace and love.